It can be a lot of fun to paper piece quilt blocks, but many people are blocked mentally when it comes to free motion quilting designs. I have some suggestions for you, so stay tuned and take a look at the stitch story for the Purple Angles Quilt. I'm Andy, and this is True Blue Quilts, a place to enjoy, experiment, and excel as you quilt. Today I'm going to share with you the free motion quilting designs that I used on the Purple Angles Quilt. This is a paper-pieced design, and you can find the pattern in my shop. I've linked to that in the description below. If you need some tips on paper piecing, please check out this video. There are some strong graphic elements in the Purple Angles quilt block. Your color choices can highlight certain aspects of the design, such as the ring or the central X. Because of the bold design, I decided to keep the quilting simple and contained within the pieced sections of the block, rather than use an all-over design. Let's take a closer look. There are three designs in the Purple Angles block. In one section of the block, I just stitched a teardrop and then echoed that shape as far as I could within the shape of the block. And then I would travel in the ditch and stitch the same thing. And you may not be able to come all the way down, but that general idea builds a seashell type design there as you echo that shape. In another part of the block, I just did some simple loops to fill the space and you can travel around the whole part of the block making those loops, those L's and E's and vary the size and position of those to create more interest and to fit the piecing of your quilt block. And there is a strong V-shape angle to this block. So all I did to emphasize that was do some parallel lines and you can make this as intricate and as dense of quilting as you'd like. And then if you have to travel through the block, you can to travel to another section. I only did a couple lines in that block. I wanted to keep the design very open for that section. And then these straight lines are representing where I would stitch in the ditch, travel stitch to another area of the block. And those are the primary quilting designs that I used in the Purple Angles block. Most quilts will have borders and if you are working with blocks, sometimes to increase the size, sometimes to contain the elements, you will have sashing strips between the blocks of your quilt. And you may even have some accent squares, which we call cornerstones, that you may want to fill in with a different design. The petals or the individual shapes on the feather on one side. So I generally draw my first arch and loop back around and then make my next petal and generally three petals there. Then I stitch in the ditch along the spine and repeat with more petals. So again, I like that number three for those petals. That's a much more pleasing 
uh, spacing than getting four squeezed in there. But you just alternate whether you're doing the petals below your curve or above your curve. Some people may want to stitch that whole curve spine on their sashing strip or their border and then come back and fill in the individual petals. I tend to just make that first big petal, then make a few smaller ones and trace along the spine. For the cornerstones, you'll have a small square and I call this my corner midpoint star. Because the final design is going to look like a star and you're traveling from each corner to each midpoint, then to the corner middle, corner, middle, corner, middle, and then you'll be back at the beginning. It is helpful to mark those midpoints. If you don't have a good visual sense of where the middle is, you can see in my example, I got off center a little bit. The star still looks like a star but this is how it would be drawn out starting at the corner to the middle of the opposite side back to the corner middle corner middle corner middle corner and if you're being very precise you can try to line up these intersections i just am going to eyeball things and you can see what a nice star that makes with just a few guide points in your piecing. Are there free motion quilting designs that you are wondering how to stitch? Anything about techniques that you're interested in? Please leave a comment below and I will put together a question and answer session in the near future. Want more design inspiration? Check out the Stitch Story for Sue's Big Quilt, linked in the video below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll be back next week with more quilting inspiration.